Hi everyone. Oh, I'm going to readjust my outfit before I start. Right, here we go. Let's do this. Hi everyone. So this is my March favourites. I think I may have missed last month because February is a bit of a weird month. It just sort of vanishes and then you realise like, oh, I, uh, I didn't get didn't get to do this. So I've only picked five items today so that the video is short and sweet. So these are the very best five products I've loved this month. So it's quite impressive. Now all of these I have not mentioned in a video or favourites video before to my knowledge because um, they're all new to me this month. Well I got one of them in February but they're all new and also I've got a new lipstick on this is the Havana red and I love it admittedly because it's called Havana that Havana na 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 song comes on and it like it just gets a song in your head for the rest of the day but if you ignore that part I I really like it it looks quite corally in this light I like it a lot so without further ado let's get started so first up is the Oils of Life Intensely Revitalising Oil Cleansing Gel. Now this is incredible. It smells lovely as does all of the Oils of Life products. Um, it's incredibly hydrate. Oh, what's this? Switch cameras? No. I don't know how I did that. I think I only have one camera on there. Okay, little blooper there, eh? <laughs> so this is a really good cleanser in the sense that it does not suck the hydration out of your skin like a succubus. It is an oil, so you'll rub it on and then when it gets wet, it turns into like a foamy, well, it's not really foamy, but a milky colour and it's working its magic. Um, you a little goes a very long way with this, so this will last a while to the to a, like a normal user. I have I only have one, so I've had to give samples of this one, but I will be getting another one. And it also moisturizes your skin for seventy two uh, well up to seventy two hours. Now that is insane. Now. The whole range of that is really good. Now my skin has been a little dry this month and I'll tell you why. I ran out of my Oils of Life day cream, like intensely revitalising cream. So I switched to another one which used to be okay. But for some reason, like my skin has just been dry. I, I think once you go for the luxury way of life, there is no going back. <laughs> um, it's, it's very likely that it was like that before. However, because I've then used the correct product, that um, it's gone back on itself and because I'm not used to that level of dehydration of skin. It's just made my face dry. I like drier. So Oils of Life is definitely the range for me that's for sure. Then next up is something that's from the accessories part of Oils of Life. This is the Twin Ball Revitalising Facial Massager. Now if you're on my Body Shop at Home group um, you will have seen me use this in some videos. If not, um, you're more than welcome to join. I'll put a link in the description. Now it looks quite suspicious looking. Um, it was on the uh, it was on this morning, like the TV show, um, earlier this week, as someone in my group um, did a post telling me that it was on. And I was like, ooh, I'll go watch that. And you just go like this, all on your face, and like, massage. It feels absolutely incredible. You know those really, if you've ever had a facial at a spa, they do like really nice massages, and your skip, like your muscles and your face feel incredible afterwards. This does that, and in fact, I will go as far to say that this actually feels better than um, a massage that I've experienced in facials, and I've had a lot of facials in various places, because it's one of my favourite spa treatments. Um, and you can use it on your neck, they did that on this morning, but I think it feels quite weird. 
but I guess it's just something you've got to get used to. But it feels absolutely incredible on here. Now this is good because it will boost blood circulation to your skin, which is very important um, in a whole range of uh, processes. Uh, so like, it's because it if it when you massage and it helps your lymphatic nose, so it helps you um, like with weight loss could do because it means you're uh, fluids are going around properly so it'll stop bloating now don't quote me on that but that's just what I've read in the past it's just stayed in my memory because I sort of thought well that's reason enough to do it um and also it helps firm your skin which is smashing then next up is a product which is very hot oh you nearly got a sneak peek very hyped about in the world of body shop and people have requested that I get it in my kit, but I was a bit concerned that it would cause them to want me to do foot parties, and uh, I do not want to touch other people's feet. I don't even want to touch my own. So I've got I've got some of the range now. Um, so I've been using the Peppermint Foot Rescue and the Foot Lotion and the Foot Scrub. I use a foot scrub once, so it's not really enough for me to tell you guys if it's like amazing or not, because once is not enough really to give you a sound review. Um, this is absolutely incredible. Now my feet honestly were not pleasant because I wear heels most days, especially at work, like stilettos and stuff. Um, it makes like the balls of your feet absolutely gross. But you get that you you know you know what I'm talking about if you're a girl. You know you know my struggle. Um, and then same for guys. Guys' feet are just generally quite gross. I don't know what happens to their feet, but it's a challenging world. That now this made a remarkable difference to my my feet after just one use. But I didn't want to like shout it from the rooftops because I was like, oh, maybe it's just because it was so bad that maybe anything could make it, anything would make a difference. So I kept at it, and now I was, I can safely say my feet have never looked so good in their whole foot, like in my whole adult life of knowing what and caring what my feet look like. So I am all ready for sandal season. However, the weather is not, but at least it's not snowing like we were predicted. Next two are makeup items dun, dun, dun. so first up now i'm quite surprised that i like this because i'm a big fan of the fiber lash hero mascara and i very reluctantly tried this because i sort of thought i'd probably i'll try and i'll try other body shop mascaras because it's good to know what's about and since i've done this i've used the fiber lash one twice and that's because I've got I went out so I wanted to have like the falsies effect. Now this is the super volume um the super volume mascara not in the waterproof version however I would say that this is like it's not like if you full on rub your eyes like I do at night time you get tired it, it will smudge however it does last okay in the rain um and this is its little wand. Now I have it on today. Oh, I could do another layer. I've only got one layer on because I had to very quickly get ready. Um, and I like it. I wouldn't say that it's the most volumizing mascara I've ever used. I think the name is a little deceiving. However, it makes my eyelashes long and that's the main thing I want. I don't really want really thick eyelashes. I want more length. I want like the dull eye effect, if you will. And that's because I have like smaller eyes, like small eyelids and stuff. And if my um, my eyelashes are too thick, it makes my eyes look smaller sometimes and I don't want that at all. Now this is fabulous. It is essentially, I don't think it's the same formulation, but it's basically the mascara effect that you get before you put the fibres on with a fibre lash mascara. Um, so it's like step one, and I'm quite impressed with it, and I quite, and I think it's good because with the fibres, like, it's a lovely effect. However, it's a bit more, it's a bit tricky to remove sometimes. So 
because you have to like hold because of the little fibre bars like if you've tried to take it off you know what I mean like it's not difficult but it just it can look a bit messy and it doesn't really work well if you're using like um, a liquid one because there's bits and if you've got contact lenses in it's and this is also cheaper so saving love that and then next up now I wanted to try all three eyebrow products for a specific eyebrow product review so I had to get the powder one and admittedly I was trying it when I first got it I was basically setting up for failure because I love my Urban Decay brow box so much like the powder one that I was just like there's nothing that's gonna top that or come remotely close but this one I'm actually I think it's fabulous it's off because it's like um, the Urban Decay ones like I don't know like 30 or pounds and this is way less and it's a similar borderline exactly the same shade as the brow box that I get and it does come with a little brush which I don't use because brushes that come with products are never really good let's be honest I don't want to lie that that they're not decent brushes they're cheap brushes and I, pref I will use the body shop's actual brush not a little thing and it's fiddly and nah. and I've only used the lighter shade because I've not gone at like I will wear a darker shade if I'm like going out and I want or if I've got a darker eye if so I have my eyebrows matching but I've been going for the spring eyeshadow situation and if I had a darker eyebrow I'd look stupid because it doesn't work but like, you can't have statement brows without statement eyes really it's like it just doesn't look right and it makes it stand out a lot now what I like about this is it's is quick to apply for a powder you're just swooping it over swooping it over liking it and it also lasts the whole day I'll go as far to say this lasts longer than um, like my foundation and concealer because it's absolutely exactly the same before I go to bed as in the morning and that's like gone through like a 16 hour day and I have Sometimes I am naughty and I don't take my makeup off before I go to sleep and it looks exactly the same when I wake up <laughs> So it's a winner now These are my all five Monthly Oh, I don't know why I decided to try and get it all in one shot. What am I doing? These are all my five monthly favorites now let me know what products you've been loving this month and I will see you all very soon. I hope you all have a fabulous Easter. Bye.